If you've got nothing to do, well, I've got a couple of tricks for you. So take a look at these vids, because it's life hacks for kids. Hey, hackers. Before I begin, I want you to know that you are doing the following hacks at your own risk, and I am not responsible for any detentions or groundings that may come as a result of these hacks. If you're like me, sometimes it seems like class goes on forever, and that's why I've created some hacks to bust class boredom. Sometimes you need to get an urgent message to a friend, and sometimes a substitute teacher really needs a spitball to keep them on their toes. Whatever your reason is, this first hack will do the trick. Let's make my cat a pencil pulled. For this you'll need a small Kleenex box, a pen, three rubber bands, and four pencils. And at least one of them has to be sharpened. Put two of your pencils next to each other. Wrap one rubber band around the center and one at the end. Grab your sharpened pencil. Draw a one inch line down about an inch from the side of the box. Stick your sharpened pencil through the box at the bottom of the line. Push the pencil all the way through to pierce the other side. Repeat this at the top of the line. Place your sharpened pencil through the bottom pencil hole and up through the top. Now attach your rubber banded pencils to the center of that pencil. Then, slide it all the way through to the bottom pencil hole on the other side. Take your fourth pencil and stick it through the top two pencil holes. Now it's ready for action. And shoot! Tally-ho! Wow! Catapults in class aren't exactly discreet, so if you want to have some fun with less chance of getting caught, let's make my mini paper frog hopper. For this you'll need origami paper, or you can use regular paper cut to a square. Grab a piece of paper, fold it in half, now fold the left corner to the right side, creating a sharp point on the top right corner. Unfold it. Fold the right corner to the left side. Unfold it again. Fold back to where the two diagonal creases meet, the center of the X, and unfold. Using the creases as guides, form a triangle onto each other. Fold the bottom rectangle in half toward the triangle. Take the two corners of the triangle and fold them up at an angle to create the arms. Fold the two sides of the rectangle so they meet in the center. Fold the rectangle in half toward the triangle. Fold the left and right corners of the rectangle down and meet at the center to start making the back legs. Now take the left and right corners of the legs and fold them down at a slant, just like the arms. Fold the frog legs up, creasing at the center of the X where the arms and legs meet. Fold about half of the legs back to form a spring. Let's hop to it. Woo! Woo! My last hack is perfect for the daydreamer in us all. Let's make my hats and faces go in places hack. For this you'll need template that you can find in the description box below, color markers, sticky notes, and scissors. Take a screenshot of the picture you want. Now boost the brightness on your phone. Next, stick a sticky note on top of the screen. Trace the image with a marker. Remove from your phone and color it in. Cut it out and have fun. Now to find my victim. Hmm. <gasps> and
And there you have it. Three hacks that take the snooze out of social studies, math, English, or whatever subject you're being subjected to. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and click here for more vids. DreamWorks TV does not condone distracting yourself in class, but if you have to, we prefer you do it with our hacks. See you next time. <laughs> ah! Oh no, I'm being attacked.